Yak Reviews. Y'all know we back. You know how we do, man. We got Yak at 1090 on deck. They going at it, man. Um, We're going to go get into the whole story, but I'm pretty much team Yak when it comes to the mm-hmm. 1090 Jake versus Yak conversation. Now, yeah, we team Yak over here. We from Broward. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that ain't why. I we respect 1090 for what he do. Of man, course. To him, but, of course. Uh, being in Broward, we got to ride with Yak. You know I mean, I mean, speak for yourself. I don't subscribe to tribalism. I'm not fucking with him just because he's from Broward. That, 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 if that's how <laughs> you, you feel, that's how that, I just don't want you to put that on me. You know what okay. I'm saying? But I just think in this situation, he's right. And it's going to be something that I've been consistent with on this show, man. It's all about – let's just play the clip, man. We're going to get into it. I don't want to give too much away. But let's play 1090 Jake's response to Yak kind of – calling him out he told uh 1090 jake that he could smoke he could su- suck a baby d i'm trying to be i'm trying to stay yeah, within the guidelines yeah, yeah. he didn't like 1090 jake's comments saying that uh you know he was wrong for doing the song with 10 uh to his six nine and this that and the other let's get into it you made a video dissing me saying i'm snitching for talking about the lyrics that somebody lost their bitch to six nine and apparently it, it wasn't in well whose bitch was in the video apparently it was somebody else but staying on the lyrics it says you a one-man army you ain't never need a click but i wanted to interview you about how when you was a one-man army in the feds you were rocking behind the bloods and then you just did a song with the biggest rat that ratted on the bloods is that for like, is that like these and they're big across the miracle now I didn't even say nothing about this dude saying that you was in protective custody in the feds and you never even hit the yard in Big Sandy. I didn't Damn. even talk about that. But there's a lot of people that were hitting me up after the video I did on you saying they was there. Now I'm gonna pause that. Yeah. That's a side right there of 1090 J getting personal now. You know, now you trying to pull up people that's talking down on 1090. I mean, t- sp- speaking down on Yak. Now, if this is just about the 6 9 song, why are you going outside of that to try to assassinate the man character? You know, his emotions is getting involved. It's ain't, don't seem cut and dry. What, what do you feel about that point? <laughs> I feel like 1090 Jake just trying to sum up all of the, you know, all of the hate he got against or anything that got against going against Kodak just so it can make his delivery a and lot more exactly you know, to me that kind of throws it off poisons yeah. the water a little bit I like when 1090 Jake is going by listen this is what the paperwork, paperwork says I'm being objective it ain't about whether I like you or not this is just what it is but this seems like yet kind of like struck a nerve but I'll let it continue there at that time and you never touched that yacht <laughs> and you saying that Breaking down who the one is that lost his girl to a snitch is snitching, even though there ain't no crime involved. Is this snitching? Writing a lawsuit the second you get to a prison Writing saying that a you get beat by the COs because you don't want to be at that lawsuit. prison and you was allegedly... We're going to get into that. I yeah, mean, go ahead. My bad. We're going to get, we go, we go go get into but I'm, go, I'm making on. a note on that. We're going to get yeah. into what is snitching. <laughs> but, well, let's go. Finish. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm gonna go in. At this pr- is that snitching? Is it snitching when you name drop the COs that are supposedly killing you slowly? Doing all type of shit towards you. Is that snitching? Because, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that ain't snitching. I know this ain't snitching. But one of these two things can actually result in somebody getting arrested, investigated, fucked up, right? Now, I wanted to interview Kodak to be a voice for the bros that's behind the wall that can't ask the questions that I was going to ask. Wasn't going to be no beef shit. Wasn't going to be no extra shit. But instead, you decided to take it to Instagram, even though Adam22 was already in communications with you about setting up the interview. We could have did this face-to-face. I'm going to ask simple questions. You're going to have simple answers. We would have left it at that. But the only reason there's any negativity going on now is because you decided to do a video with a rat. All right, man. Yeah, we we pulled that from the homie Seti Nash uh, video. He had the uh, the live. So, yeah, if you want to watch it again, uh, go ahead and watch it on Seti. But, yeah, God dang. So go listen, ahead, go ahead. This is how I feel about that. He's now bringing up a lawsuit that Kodak putting on Big Sandy about the treatment of the inmates, and you trying to now make it aware like this man is snitching, which is 
that's just foul and, and flaw in 1090 Jake to even go that route. Like you know better. Like you know better with getting people paperwork, and you know, you know, that ain't had nothing to do with nobody going to jail. That was a lawsuit he put out. So to me, yeah, 1090 Jake, he to the to the audience, he may have looked like he's winning this battle, but he's doing it with, you know, he's doing so, it. So you don't think you don't think telling on cops, it could be something to where they do get a charge, or maybe they even a get lawsuit. fired or something like that. Lawsuit, fire. Okay. You don't you don't you don't no, consider I that. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it. he filed a lawsuit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look, it might be snitching to some people, but it's you like can't I file say, a lawsuit some, sometimes in jail. Listen. Like, Sometimes oh, you gotta him. tell. I, I I'm a big I'm a big somebody mistreating that. you in there, bro. You gonna tell your lawyer, bro? Bro, they listen, did me listen, wrong. Bro, and they, listen, bro. Man, what I would tell, me. nigga. Right. What I'm trying to tell you that's is some people telling. Listen, that's not telling. You you made your point. Yeah, you, you're you're very clear. You don't think that's telling. I'm telling you that it's people out there who feel like that's snitching. You can't be telling the police on nobody. You can't be suing nobody. I'm saying that I seen real niggas do it now. Whether it's snitching or not, I'll let y'all decide that. But I feel like he was right to do it. If the police was beating my ass, I'm a tell. I don't give a fuck. I don't, let no. me try to stay when inside the guy. I don't lawsuit. care what you call it. Ain't me. no telling. I'm saying would bro, you file a lawsuit? Said that already, bro. Okay. I get you. I'm saying I would have did it no matter what somebody think. If 1090 Jake want to do a video of yeah, he told on the police that beat him up. You feel me? Okay, do it. Just like somebody's going to say that if you uh, try to get a self-defense uh, ruling in a case or something like that, you're going to have to prove that your life was in danger. Some people consider that snitching. In that situation, I would tell, too. I'm not going to go to jail trying to keep up with some street rules and street politics. I think right. half of you niggas in the streets is dumb. I'm about to be 40 soon. Y'all got to think beyond the streets. I don't care what nobody going to say about me in the video if I feel like it's all right. That's why I feel what Kodak was saying. Kodak say, I'm a, I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. I did what I felt was right. T 1090 Jake also said that Kodak saying that, oh, uh, you know, we went in on a verse. We ain't going in on a brick type stuff, right? He said that Kodak knew he was messed up, and that's why he was trying to explain himself in the verse. I don't really feel like that. The Kodak said, if I felt like I was messed up, I would have never even did it in the first place. I respect that. 1090 Jake messed up when he ascribed that to Kodak, and you don't know what's in this man's mind. You know? You don't Kodak's know what he's the finesse saying. kid. he been calling himself the finesse kid. Exactly. You Way mad at the back back then. The, M? the man Come is on, finessing. Bro. He just finessed this man. And then, and then look, if, if what Kodak did is snitching, right? And you trying to compare that to, you trying what to you compare did. that to what, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's talk about what people say 1090 Jake did is snitching. You feel me? Let's get to that. Is it to get drugs in a Florida prison? Every single compound I hit, there was all types of drugs on there, whether it's prescription pills, Molly, some spots it was cocaine and mess, but nothing more common than K2. Jacob Cherry, a former inmate, posted the videos to YouTube. One, two, three, four flips. He says Florida inmates currently behind bars recorded the videos using cell phones smuggled inside. How easy is it to now get look. drugs? That's 1090 Jake talking about inmates. He talk about COs. He talk about what's going on. That could have <laughs> definitely got somebody job too. That could have got an inmate with some more time on them. I'm not, I don't know if you want to count that as snitching or whatever, but there is more of a blurry line when it comes to doing that. So if you feel like Kodak talk about cops beating them up with snitching, then how you feel about you being on the news talk about stuff that's going on in jail? That's like the same shit. <laughs> it is very close. It's you worse. Know no, no, no. It's not the same shit. It's actually Kodak is a lawsuit. You're actually just giving out free information so people can make a decision on whether who mm. needs to get in trouble. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying I to said... get a bag up out of them. You out here just, you ain't got no bag. You know, I guess your YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? So, I yeah. Mean... Yeah, I mean, he's still in the back from paid. YouTube, I'm sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he, another thing that he said, I don't know if you caught it. He said um, he didn't like the way Kodak Black responded because 
Kodak was already in talks with Adam 22 about making the interview happen. I'll say this, 1090 Jake. You should have kept it like that. You should have talked behind the scenes and talked to Kodak because you got resources, you got influence. Like you said, he shouted you out. You could have invited the man to talk to you behind the scenes, but instead of doing that, you went and made a video talking about what Kodak is thinking in his head, how you don't really feel that you don't feel like it was the right thing to do. And you know, you was getting a little bit spicy with what you were saying. You feel like you was being respectful, but he felt like that was a slight the way that you was trying to kind of put him out there a little bit like you disapproved of it i don't think that was the right approach if you don't want him to go to instagram then you should have went to youtube talking about something that you're going to talk to the man behind the scenes about yeah. am i am i off base with that one bob no you're right you're right you're right i That's, guess that was like you got some me. affiliation with the blood so it's more emotional you can see 1090 yeah. jake was a little emotional in the video exactly more than he normally is he wanted you're to right. definitely and we talked about the this public. off camera yeah because he's mm -hmm. a blood six nine snitched on bloods kodak said that bloods were protecting him when he was in jail so 1090 jake felt like kodak owed more to the blood said he's a blood he takes it personal the whole thing that six nine did so he's letting his emotions get the best of him in this whole back and forth is what i yeah. think is happening right now that's what's um, happening right now just on a side note 1090 jake last interview with adam 22 was very revealing y'all gotta go watch that we might have to talk about that because 1090 jake speaking of you know exposing snitches he was saying that the greats is the one that gave him the info about 03 greedo adam 22 even admitted that him giving the lambo truck to lena was all you know a, a stage thing you know what i'm saying so he was on there talking about a lot of stuff you know 1090 jake he, he get the information i really love what he do he's always entertaining but this one i don't know I don't Any feel pushing. like he, I think he was a little bit out of line. So Kodak got out of line with his ass and I can't be mad at that. Well, we'll see, man. Listen, y'all let us know what y'all think in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Uh, you think Kodak was, uh, out of line. You think 1090 Jake was just doing too much, being a little too emotional. That's what we came to. I agree. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> so y'all let us know what y'all think, man. And hit us in the comments. Yay. Stay shrewd.